Well, we just had a major event in our family that happened. Yeah. Which was... What happened? Taking... Great. Are you going to cry? I'll try not to. Oh, no, man. please do. It's it a may sh- pod. <laughs> 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 it may show up. I hope it does. I hope it doesn't show up. Uh, we took our oldest to college and moved her in. And your son came along, quite literally came, went along for the ride out there as the two of them road tripped out to t- Texas. Backgrounder... Jeff's son and Andy's daughter have been dating for three years. Three years. A yeah. Lo- wow. A long time. Yeah. Three years. And so your son graduated last year. Last year. Andy's daughter just graduated. And yeah. Go ahead. And so she's going to school in Texas at Baylor University, which Baylor I barely even know her. <laughs> the, uh, I didn't. I didn't know anything about it, but uh, until we until I got a chance to go out there, and after spending um, two or three days there, I texted a buddy of mine who has two now three kids there at the same time. Good lord, that's a lot of money. That's a rich dude. I told him I was like, "How are you doing this?" And he just said, "We just kissed our retirement goodbye." Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But I just I just texted him. I was like, "I get it." And he said, oh, you must be, without, with no context, uh, I just said, I get, a, I'm a Baylor, I get it. He goes, you must be at their orientation thing. And I was like, yes. And he goes, yeah, it's a, it's a great place. And and the students there, your, your sons and daughters will flourish, which is really cool. That doesn't change the fact that like taking your kid and dropping them off, you know, 1500 miles away um, is any easier other than like I try to take solace in the idea that she that she will flourish, that she will be surrounded by um, groups of like-minded and non-like-minded people who will challenge her in ways that she hasn't been challenged before. And I will do make her a better person, make her a better person. And I'll kind of monologue in here a little bit, but the experience of taking my daughter to college has, um, and her just going away in general to college has made me rewind so many conversations and reactions that I've had in the past for other people who have said, Hey, yeah, my kid's going to college. Mm. My reaction 100% of the time previously has been positive. That's so great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They got into insert whatever college name. Right. That's yeah. gr- oh I'm I'm so happy for you guys. And and looking back and on on that I'm like gosh, I had no idea that those parents are torn. They're totally torn. Yes. Thrilled for their kids that they can be a part of this. Right. And your whole family dynamic changes in an instant and there's no going back. Like it will never be the Mm -hmm. same again. And that part, you know, Lindsay, my wife and I have been, um, it's profound sorting out a little bit. We're, we've got, there's been a lot of people who are praying for us and checking in and, and which is good. And I'm not usually someone that would say like, Hey, I can feel your prayers. Jeff, Jeff, remind me tomorrow to check in with Andy. Yes, thank you. You you boys have been good about checking in with me. Um and they ruin the joke. And there were t- <laughs> there were two there were some tearful moments of course for sure while we're out there. Certainly. But uh like Lindsay and I both feel like we're doing better than we thought we would and maybe it's cuz we've kind of done this in some phases. Uh, the first time when we went out to this like orientation thing we dropped her off. We were there for 2 days. Then we left and she stayed for three days. And that one felt to us like more of the event. Like we we were driving in the car back to the airport, a mess. Just yeah. like, mm. it was it was so hard. And maybe some of that was cathartic, yeah. lot, you know, allowing us to get that out. And so we've done this in chunks. First child, daughter, that's big. Yeah, I mean, and again, you know, we had a house that was used to having four people and and- with our family of only four, you take 25% away on a daily basis and the dynamic is totally shifted. So now, our especially y- when it represents 80% of the family and it's gone to Baylor, that's, that's wow. bad. Wow. That math. I, I just, yeah, I was, she was really smart. And uh, now she's <laughs> at Baylor. <laughs> I was going to say, let me know you're done. It's in my contract. No math. In this podcast for me. So that felt like, 4D chest. <laughs> My parents know how you feel because when I decided to take a class at Saddleback, so that which is a community college, so that I didn't have to pay rent, multiple people were like, <laughs> you guys must be so proud. Your son uh, is going to community college. Good for him. 
Did yeah. your mom drive you all the way to Saddleback and drop you off? I had my own car. <laughs> nice. But I didn't want to pay rent, so it's like, okay, I'll go to school. And I, I took a psychology class, and the, uh, that was, the only, I think, the only class I finished because the teacher was very good looking. Oh. And so I'm like, I'm What was his name? Ooh, well done. <laughs> You're welcome, Chad. <laughs> he was the original high Chad. Five, high five. <laughs> I actually don't remember her name. But <laughs> oh, that's good. I Thanks for a, tying that. I got a beta. There. I don't. I got a beta. Okay. Yeah. The um. The wait, wait. There is a silver lining to. I hate to. Which I'm okay with. The silver lining yeah. of yes, your daughter has gone away. Yeah. Uh, my son drove. They drove together, and he's literally dropping her off at Baylor. And then coming home with you guys, yeah. And I'm like, so he's home yesterday or the day before, and I, I'm realizing, wow, he's he hung out with some friends, but I think it was last night. He said, uh, or he's just sitting there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's he's home. Oh my gosh, my son's home. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm like, hey, how's it going? And he's like, oh, good, good. I'm like, work works good, and. <laughs> I'm like, did he start calling you by I'm your like, first name? <laughs> it's good, Jeff. You know, Jeff, what do you need? Uh, no, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm kind of uh, busy right now, Jeff. If there's something that you want to say. In, in my head, I'm like, you know, I really need to start working out. He's going to be home. I'm like, hey, if I bought you, uh, you know, I know you kind of dropped your, your gym membership. Uh, what if I paid for it? Would you uh, go and work out with me? He's like, mornings or nights? I'm like, nights. He's like, yeah, I could do that. That's. Especially if you're, you're paying for it, I'm like, yes, oh, that's yes. Awesome. So Jeff's gonna get yoked. Yeah, you're right. That is a Dude. that is a silver lining for you, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, did <laughs> can I tell you a funny story though? This is so weird. It's a weird story. Jeff, are you okay with it? You're gonna like it. But Tyson, did you just laugh from afar? I'm sorry. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tyson's already doing better in that when something makes him laugh. He, he laughs, laughs and Thank you can you. hear it. Thank you. It's I making know. the show better. It's okay to laugh. I'm going to edit that out so you don't get the credit. But oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let, let's hear it. So um, maybe this was like subconscious coming through for both Christian, your son, and I. But the day after, I was trying to fix something on my car. It doesn't matter what it was. But anyway, I had, it required me to drive the car for like 30 minutes in a, a stretch. So I drove down to San Clemente mm -hmm. and I was like, while I'm down here, I'm just like in the back section of like some business park and there's this wide open cul-de-sac and I was like, hold on, let me press some buttons, beep, 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 turn off all the nanny modes and then I just hit like three donuts <laughs> in the in the um, cul-de-sac and then took off and as I was driving <laughs> away, I called Christian and I was like, hey man, guess what I just did? <laughs> and he goes, guess what I just did? And he sent me a video oh, yeah. of him in yes. his truck hitting burnout donuts. Oh my gosh. No and then he said, we're going to K1 racing. You want to go? And I'm like, I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to K one. I, I got a. I get wind of this. I have no idea why I did not tag along. You should have regrets. Man. Complete regrets. You know my theology. Won, the my way. theology doesn't leave a lot of room for like God ordaining things right now. I mean, it could change, but that feels set up. I mean, that feels like God's like, you guys need this. Yeah. You guys need this. And our it, cycles synced up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, the rumor is that is, yeah. that's yucky. You guys menstruated at the same time in the, in the same way. I just yeah. thought it was hilarious. They were burning rubber. <laughs> yes. Man. That's how we like our emotions. We need to get these emotions out somehow. Man. Horsepower. That's how we do it. Yeah. You haven't. Well, cheers to that. Yeah. Cheers yeah. to, cheers to that. A rump. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. That's a negative thing.